What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back with our biggest ever futsal match day. I've said it before but genuinely today's match is the best team we have ever played against. We are away in Manchester playing against fourth place in the Premier Division, Bolton. As you guys know we have played against a tier one team before but today's match is going to be a different level. They are fourth place in the top division of the country. This is like Arsenal versus Notts County or something like that. We're a little tier three team playing against fourth place in tier one but we're gonna give it our all. Let's go. So after an amazing run so far in the National Cup, today we're against Bolton. Right. Boys, good game today, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, that is Bolton. <laughs> oh my god. god. Very, very long drive here. We've just arrived and this venue is insane. It is genuinely crazy looking at this stadium how far we've come in only two or three years. Today the team we're playing against is me and my friends against a team with Scotland players, Northern Ireland players and England players. International players is crazy. That's, this is it, yeah? I'm not going to say this like a, treat it like a normal match day, all that bullshit not a normal match day. This is different. Okay, and we all can feel it, it's different. We know what we have to expect today. We know what we need to do today to win this game. Doing what we normally do on a small pitch isn't gonna to work today. We have to realize that very early on. Counter-attacks, brutal. If the ball goes off, fantastic. Okay, we just can't deal with another counter. They have 14 players today. Okay, that's the max allowed. Okay, you know, that's essentially that, we could be three playing teams. three different teams <coughs> Yeah, literally. So just bear that in mind. This game is gonna be one on emotions. Leave your emotions off the pitch. Okay, it's just you, the ball, and your teammates, and them. We have a chance to beat these at in Manchester. Yeah, I'm so excited. Like, this is our biggest game in history. If you believe we're going to win today, we're going to get on that, that coach back to London happy, and you can see yourself winning. There's nothing that can stop us, because it's not our ability or our talent that's going to let us down. It's going to be like Henrique said, our emotions. But number two, if we go on that court and we're not confident, we're just a bang average team. I think that's a great way to leave it. Let's go on the court. Yeah. Let's go, boys! Big game today, man. We're in, we're in Manor, playing against Bolton, one of the best teams in the country, man. It's a pleasure to be playing them. I'm, I'm excited. The boys are excited. Hopefully, we get through this this next round. I'm one step closer to the to the trophy. I'm Joe Payne, goalkeeper and captain at Bolton Futsal Club. Previously been on the channel. Go search it this time last year. I'm sure you'll love it. Big game today. Absolutely looking forward to it. Was nerves settled? First five minutes are really important, but I think we should be strong in the first. Biggest game. In in the history of the LDN, isn't it? So there's nothing much else to say. I'm not even going to give a score prediction today. Uh, that's a motorbike. Uh, head coach for Bolton Futsal Club, Stuart Cook. You know, I've known Jamie for a few years, uh, done a couple of videos with him where he's always got the best of me and Meg me, so it'll be hopefully nice to get one back in him today and, and get a win over him uh, on, on the full court. Really exciting, you know, for a tier three team, I think they're, they're really good. They're showing re real signs of improvement, so it should be a really good game. Who can feel that? Who can feel that in their stomach? Oh, good, man. Love That's the fire, oh, yeah. That's the fire we need today to beat these lot. Like I said, I spoke already about confidence and individual ability. We need to go out there now and prove it. We've got loads of fans come here. They don't get this many fans on a normal game, do they? They're here to watch us in reality, okay? So let's go on the pitch and show them why we deserve to be in this cup. Why we deserve to actually win this cup, okay? We, we've said it before, there's no pressure on us. We put the pressure on ourselves because we're already overachieving our expectations. We're tier three team, playing in tier one, smashing tier one team. And that's what we're gonna do today, boys. Understand? Hands in. One, three, LDN. One, two, three. So today's match day squad, we have got Ryan starting in goal. At the back, we have got Captain TK as usual. On the left today, we have got myself starting on the right, as usual, Brazilian flair man Felipe. And up top, in this massive game, we've got Michael. On the bench today, ladies and gentlemen, we've got number 88, Billy, who's going to be crucial. We've also got target man number five, Dom. We've also got number nine, Osama, next to him, as well as number three, Dario. Let's go. And we are back. The biggest match ever on this channel. Make sure you guys put LDN in the comments right now, I don't need to say too much. You guys know what it is. National Cup. One round before the quarterfinal. We started good here. We're popping it around nice. I've got the ball here. What have I got? It slipped under my foot. I must say that ball was very slippery, but it has slipped under my foot there. Guys, honestly, I don't even know what to say in this game. I feel like the, the pre-match, I feel like the lead up to this kickoff has told you everything you need to know. Um, they're third in tier one. 
This is going to be so important this game. Michael needs to hold the ball up for us. We need an outlet. But yeah, third in tier one against a tier three team. Yeah, I don't need to say too much to you guys, honestly. Like, I feel like you guys can tell the importance of the game from the leader. But it's a confident start here. I've got the ball here. I play it here to Felipe. Reset, reset, let's go. Phil, let's go. Half. Honestly, guys, those of you that have been there from the start, just looking at this video, like, we're playing in a stadium. Like, compare this to when we were playing on the outdoor court in our very first futsal matches, and we had four players, and, like, people were turning up, like, two hours late, halfway through kickoff, like, people turn up the wrong kit, like, it. That still happens sometimes. But it's crazy how far we've come, man. And honestly, it's all love to you guys. You guys make this possible, so it means the world to me, man. And all of my all of my teammates, all the players as well, it means the world to us, honestly. But as mentioned, Bolton, they have got Northern Ireland players, Scotland players, England players. But we're gonna hit them on the counter attack here. It's a nutmeg. Oh, he's done very well to recover there. He's done very well to recover um, that guy. I do know a few of their players, but just for the neutral perspective, I'm going to call them by their names. So those of you that I do know on your team, it's no disrespect, it's just for the neutral. Um, but yeah, that's a parallel ball here. We've got away with it. But I'm going to get a nutmeg cam. Ding! I've done a lot better. I've done a lot better nutmeg cam, but we take it where we can. Um, good pressure there. One thing you'll notice about these guys is their rotations will be insane. Their pressing will be insane. They're just going to be a lot more knowledgeable than us. 1v1, genuinely, I feel like we can compete with any team. But they're going to be a lot more knowledgeable. Set pieces where they be, might be able to count us, um, um, like get to us. So, stuff like that, but it's been intercepted by Felipe. But yeah, we need to take our counter attacks. Felipe, we've started well. To me, TK! Oh! We'll see how close that... Oh, that was so close. That's the one, that's the one. Count on, good counter. Good. It's not a bad start, you know. It's not a bad start. Of course, um, as you've just seen, counter attacks are where we're going to need to capitalise. I've bought a free kick there. I've absolutely bought that. TK here to Mikey. His role this game is crucial. Of course, Kyle is not here, guys. We'll see if that comes into, um, if that affects the game. But Kyle against West, it's the last tier one team, uh, Premier Division team that we played. He was crucial. Because when you're under a lot of pressure, you need that outlet. But they've got a kick in here. A couple of nice passes here. Back post. Oh, I, was... <sighs> I was just saying, that's me as well. I lost my mind in the back post. That set piece is something they're working on in training. That's the difference. I was just saying about it. Unlucky, hey, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Let's go. Let's play. Let's play. Set pieces. Set pieces. Set pieces. Let's go. Let's go. As Coach Enrique was just saying to the guys on the bench, set pieces, set pieces, set pieces. That is going to be the difference. Honestly, that, that will be a massive difference. Because, like, for example, you guys that just saw that goal, that kicking that they just scored, unlucky there from TK, that kicking that they just scored, genuinely, they'll, they'll know that, like, the back of their hand, that will be stuff that they work on in training. That's our next step, because at the moment, of course, we do rely on a lot, a lot of individual talent and skills and stuff like that. Nope. Um, he's on a face shot there. We haven't really gone for it, though. TK standing this guy up. Good block there from Captain TK. But it's not a bad start from us. We've been caught out by a set piece and we knew that was going to be a very difficult part of this game. Even against Wessex it was as well, but the court was a lot smaller against Wessex. Good block there from TK. We are under the caution a little bit here though. Bolton have definitely um, stepped it up. Then number three, I've got to give a shout out to their number three, Kai. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my video uh, where I managed the youth team, he was actually their manager, so big up to him. Um, very good player as well. Then number 23 to the ball here. Let's play it out wide. Good pass down the line. It's another back post goal. Honestly, it's just... It's so weird, because you guys might be watching this thinking like, they don't even look that good. They don't even look like they can kick ball. Like, you're not seeing no skills. You're not seeing no nothing that parallels done off of him, so that'll be our ball. But yeah, against these Premier Division teams, it's not that they're amazing, like 1v1, like Felipe is. Oh! Oh, we needed that. What a save from Joe in goal, man. And then, oh, they cleared it off the line. Stuff like that is what we need to go our way in this game, man. Billy is coming on here for Felipe. Stuff like that, we need to take those chances in this game. Very unlucky from Dom, though. Very, very unlucky from Dom. But those, those are crucial in this match, honestly. Oh, man. But yeah, as I was saying, you guys might watch it. They don't even look that good, but genuinely, it's just their movement and their rotations and stuff. They're just very well drilled, you know? But that will come, that will come to us. You've got to remember, these tier one teams, they, they, 
they're 10 years, however years old. We're still very early doors, you know. But to depart from me here to Billy, ah, oh, just over here. As you see, I put my hand up there. I were not really happy with that one, but it's a weird one. We're adjusting to this court as well, guys. Like this court is massive compared to the one we usually play on, but it's good because if we do, God willing, win tier three, when we go up to tier two, hopefully, um, we will have to play on bigger courts. He's right at me there, it's the tackle. But yeah, next season we will have to play on bigger courts, so we need to get used to it, um, you know, at some point. But like, it's literally a regulation in our league, we won't be allowed to play where we're playing at the moment. That's a mad touch from Dom, I gotta be honest, but yeah, I don't really know what he was trying there. But this guy's standing up on the line. It is only 2 0, you guys know 2, 3, 4, even 5 dollars in foot is nothing. Very good feet here from TK. TK's playing it to myself here, what have I got? Parallel ball down line to TK, but their goalkeeper's done very well. Their goalkeeper is an England international. Very good player. Very good player. Big shout out to Joe Payne, man. Very, very good player. Don, come on, Don. Well done, bro. Well done. Okay, TK the ball hit to me. What have I got? I'm taking this guy down the line. Starting a little bit. Topo through his leg. Ja, he saved it. The goalie saved it. He's done well to save that because purposely I put that through his legs. Topo through the legs. He's done well to get down and save that with his heel, you know. We've, we've had our chances. We have had our chances, honestly. Like, I hold my hands up. Um, they've been better on with the ball in possession than us, but it doesn't look like a complete mismatch, in my honest opinion, you know. But you guys tell me in the comments below what you think. Good save there from Ryan. Tell me your score prediction, guys, by the way. Tell me your score prediction in the comments right now. If you get it right, I'm going to like your comments. Also, tell me what you think of these first 10 minutes. What are we doing right? What are we not doing right? Then number 47 has got the ball here. Number 47, that's, like, that's Foden's number, isn't it? I wonder if that's anything to do with um, Phil Foden. Oh, unlucky. Okay, Osama's on the pitch here. He just came on for me. He's played it here to uh, Billy. Well played here from Billy. Yeah, well done. Percentages, percentages. <laughs> Let's get in there hard, boys. Okay, Osama's at the ball here, but he is being pressed. Oh, no, you can't lose it there, Osama. He's recovered, though. Well done, TK, as well. TK's done well to get back and recover. Ryan's at the ball here, playing it to Osama. Osama here to Billy. What have we got? What have we got? Billy to Osama. They're, they're pressing Osama again. Osama's the trigger point. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's not. He's just found himself in un unfortunate situations. There should be people showing for him. Mike at the ball here, playing it to Osama again. Osama's seen a lot of the ball here. It's good. He's gone for the long ball, but it's been intercepted. But Mikey, 2v2. TK. He, I don't know where he's going. He's slipped past another shoot. And he slipped there. But that very that first piece of steal from TK. That was very nice. That was very, very nice. And that's a baggy ball there. It's a baggy ball there from them. That's very rare that you see a tier one team doing that, I must say. Simon's on the ball here. Play it to Billy. I saw Felipe's checked his man, but Billy thought Felipe was going. It's just a miscommunication. What a ball that is. Osama's got it here. Again, we've gone for a long ball. We need to relax, guys, man. We need to calm down. Karma, karma, yeah? We need to relax a little bit. Then number eight is on the ball here, just sh um, shimmying. Then number 16 has played it back. Good press here from Mikey Hamble. He's been giving us a foul against us. Was that a foul, guys? I don't know. Tell me in the comments, man. But it's good press. Of course, we are playing half court. That is the, the, the tactic that Coach Enrique and Coach Doug agreed on us playing. Um, so far, it's doing all right. It's doing all right so far. But we are showing them a lot of time on the ball, man. Good save from Ryan. For those of you wondering, half court is basically where you don't go past the halfway line. As soon as they enter your half, Coach Enrique requested a timeout there. But yeah, as soon as they enter your half, you press them. But until then, it's, to be honest, guys, it's pretty much a tactical park in the bus, like in the Lemon side, to be perfectly honest. Um, somehow that's been given as their kicking. I don't think that was their kicking, but it's been given. Number eight is on the ball here. Back to their goalkeeper. Number 29 is on the ball here. What's he got? That's very easy for him to cut inside. Good block there from Osama. The very good block there from Osama. Oh, so that's a pinball machine. Oh, it's not. Uh, that goal was just unlucky. Let's try something different, okay? Man to man in our half now, okay? Follow your f***ing man all the way. Okay, if the switch is on, please call it, but it has to be very bait. This is the quietest I've ever heard you lot. 
Yeah? And if we nil down, there's nothing in futsal. When we're on the bike, we have, we have to come towards. Punch, like, yeah. There's short passes, we have to do it though. Punish the f***ing counter attacks, okay? Let's go. A very, very, very much needed timeout. I know I say that every time, but genuinely, we really needed that timeout. Um, yeah, of course guys, I haven't said it, but I feel like it's just self-explanatory. If we lose this game, we are out of the National Cup. But, wait, that was very nice pit work from Fila. Oh, no. I don't care what the score is. Are you crazy? I don't care what the score is. Brazilian flair, man, Felipe. I need a replay when the, when the ball goes out. I need a replay when this ball goes out because he broke his ankles. Look, Ronaldo chop off the ball roll. Oh. Rate that still out of 10 in the comments. That might be the worst violation I've seen this whole season, you know. I don't want to look like one of them guys which is, which is just gassing up skills while we're losing. I know how it may look, but look, you've got to take your dubs when they come. And that was disgusting from Felipe. Does not mean that we're, um, that we're, we're doing well right now, though. We are 3-0 down. We need, to, we need to get some goals, man, hopefully. And we're not playing bad. That's the worst part, man. They're just... Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. That, no offense to Michael, but that situation there, someone like Kyle, for example, is holding that ball up. It's holding that ball up. I think we're missing Kyle a little bit. But then Michael's better than Kyle at certain stuff as well. With, um, they've just done a four-way or three-way substitution there. But yeah, then again, saying that Michael will straight up will um, beat a man more than Kyle, you know? So it's just, it's tit for tat, you know? You guys, go and spam Kyle, man. Tell him why was you not here for the National Cup match against Bolton? Flipping orange. <laughs> no, I'm joking, guys. Don't do that. He had work. He actually had work. Okay. What's happening here? Mike, good pressure here from Mikey. Good pressure and it's forced a bad pass out of them. And we're making a four-way sub. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, guys, sorry, Felipe breaking that guy's ankles completely distracted me. Um, oh, we need we need a target man there. I was just saying that about Kyle. We need that outlet man. We need that outlet um, As I was saying God forbid we used to go out of the National Cup. Hopefully we still win this game But we do still have another cup which we play in the first round or very soon That is the lead cup coming very soon as well as the lead of course But yeah, just want to let you guys know there is another cup not the National Cup, but the, the lead cup Come on boys do you guys think that we should be playing half court? Tell me in the comments below. I, I, I understand why Coach Henrique and Doug went for this option and it was the correct decision because... Oh, they hit the post, we got lucky there. It's the correct decision because we didn't have enough substitutes to the full press. We've got no target, man. No offence to Dom, no offence to Dom, but we, we've got no target, man, there. We need Dom to be stretching that, man. We basically had an extra, we had three wingers there. Their number 10, uh, Giles, I believe. I used to play with him um, at camp. Very good player, but he should not be allowed to get that much space and get through them. Ah! Ah! 4-0, good feet from their number 10, Giles, and they're celebrating their fourth goal. 4-0 Four down, of course, guys. I say it every single game, even when we're beating teams four or five sit or six. I don't know what I don't know why Tarek was looking the other way there. I tried to play a parallel ball to him, but he's looking the other way. What a ball. What a good save from Ryan. One thing I gotta say, yeah. The main thing I've noticed in, the, in this game is Joe, their goalkeeper, the England international. His distribution is ridiculous. His throwing, his kicking is ridiculous. I'm lucky there from their uh, number ten there. But yeah, that's the main thing I noticed. Those of you that watched the video when I went to Brazil and I trained with Magnus, the best, the best futsal team in Brazil. That was the main difference I noticed training with them as well. Like, I felt completely fine training with them. I felt good. The main difference I noticed was the goalkeeper's distribution and how good he was with his feet. It was crazy. So yeah, for that, as you get higher up in the leads, that's the main thing. The goalkeepers get very good. Okay. Uh, that's been given as our ball. I thought that should have been their ball in all honesty. Dario, well done, Dario. He's lost it on the second time trying, though. But TK's in the press here. Good pass there through the middle, and number 21's played it. We can't afford to concede any more goals before half time. Four is not too bad. Two, three, four goals in foot is nothing, but we can't. T! Oh, it's gonna be a foul. And I've been clattered there, hey, that's cheeky. That is cheeky. I've been clattered there as well on the, on the, on the, um, the rebound. Anyways, then number 38 is at the ball here. Play it back. Play it to number three here. Very nice uh, double step over. Gone for the shot, but Billy's blocked it. Joe, their goalie's so quick off his line, man. 
Billy standing him up. Nothing has come from that. Okay, number three is with the ball here again. They're dominating possession right now, it has to be said. But yeah, do you guys think that we should have played half court? Or what do you think? Tell me in the comments. I think yes, I think it was the correct decision from Coach Henry and Doug because we didn't have enough subs. But you guys tell me in the comments, what do you think below? Good save there from Ryan. They've got a corner kick. We're going to hit them on a the counter attack here from Dario. If we can get a goal before half time, that would be beautiful. Good tackle from that guy. I'm trying to just win a kick in, in all honesty. All beaten down the line. <clears throat> TK to Billy here. We're playing in our shell a little bit, man. You can tell that people are nervous. Me included, in all honesty. Like, we, we are playing in our shell. Like, we're not trying to take no one on. We're not like, yeah, man. Good tackle from me there. Good tackle from myself doing my defensive duties. <laughs> but yeah, good tackle from me there. We can't afford to concede. Come on, boys. I'd say just see this half out, boys, and then um, just flip in, like, what's the word? Not recollect. What's the word? Just get together at half time and, and um, recollect our thoughts, you know, and figure out what's going wrong. But that's a very good press here from Dario. Good feet here from Dario as well. Well played, bro. Play it back to um, TK. What's TK got? We need to do something from this. Billy. Oh. <laughs> that's gonna be it, guys. Moving on to half time. We need a massive half time team talk. We was expecting it. It's a different level, man. It's a different level. Good second half, though. Let's split it up in three stages, okay? Defensive, attacking, and then all the rest. Defensive first. We're going to start stepping to the red line. No, not red line. A little bit above the halfway line. Man to man, okay? Does that make sense? However, it's not man to man like this. Do you understand? It's only man to man when he's on. When your player is on the ball. You're still covering the middle. So when the ball goes here. Bang, you don't go here, because look at that pass, you're still there. Everything that's gone in that, in that first half is gone. It's gone, see you later, I don't want to hear about it anymore, it's done, it's done. Okay, attacking. Now, I told Dom and Mikey, all they've got to do this half is stay, stay here. Does that make sense? That's it. So at least we have the channels open. That's it, that's all they've got to do. Now, off the pitch stuff. This is so quiet. And then when we are talking, it's negative stuff. It's, your are that was why are you not doing that? Okay, but when it's positive stuff, dead silent. Okay, that can't run. We're trying to keep our yeah, heads, but then we're not doing what we're actually what helps us a lot. We're aggressive, shouting for tackles and that, we're just silent. But the thing is that's what Luke is trying to say. Bro, cool, I hear you don't want to do all that here, but bro, we've been negative the whole time, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, of course. Why am I hearing the pedals and the bikes around us? I don't think can I just say on? something? I don't think it's us being negative. I think it's us expecting it of other people. Whereas if everyone that's saying we need to bring more energy and be loud and done it themselves, yeah. then collectively we bring up each other. We're gonna have to take some risks to have a chance in this game now, guys. So if that means trying to beat your man and losing the ball, then so f***ing be it. Because that's the part of the dualities we practice. The 1v1 is a duality, remember that? We haven't forgot that, have we? The one in the middle is a duality. The parallel, the overlap, I haven't seen any of that. It's like we've completely forgot it. Yeah, and then, but the thing is, when we play Greenwich, we do six or seven times. It's the same game. You're playing futsal out there, bro. You're not playing anything else. So forget about what lead they're in. Forget about who's there. Don't give them no risk. <coughs> six minutes, okay? Six minutes left of the half. If we're still down, we're going for like easy. Okay, I'll call a timeout. We're going to go through it, okay? Give it everything you got, bro. It's 20 minutes. Just <coughs> give it everything you got. Yeah? yeah? Let's go out there and give it all you got. Come on, boys, man. Enjoy it. Leave a smile on your face, all right? One, two, three. Oh, yes! Massive, massive, the biggest second half ever so far for this club on this channel. Let's get started. A lot to digest from that half time. We're pressing them now. We're not playing half court. We're taking it to them a little bit. And you can see already the difference. We're pressing them. Good press from Mikey. Oh, that's exactly what we need. That's exactly what we need. Is that, is that our own goal? Is that our own goal? Is it Mikey's? That's exactly what we need. Come on, boys. Good, Mike, that's all you. That's exactly what we need. As Coach Henrique just said, that is exactly what we need. Very good press from Mikey. Show some love to Michael in the comments right now, ladies and gentlemen. Show some love to him in the comments, man. All right, okay, come on, boys. Big second half, big second half. As you guys saw at half time as well, Coach Henrique said if we're still losing later, I mean, the press is making a difference. We look like a different... We both look like different teams this second half. We're taking it to them, man. I've tried to find Mikey there, but he's behind um, their, 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 their fits. Well done, Felipe. Again, the distribution from their keeper. Insane, man. TK got the ball here. Played it to myself. 
What have I got? Standing them up. I'm waiting for Mikey to show for me. I'm waiting for Mikey to show for me. That guy's right in front of him. Well played here from TK. What's he got? Played it to me. I play it back to TK. What's TK got here? That's our ball. When the ball's in the winger here, the opposite winger needs to come into the middle. Okay, just to create another option, the triangle we talked about. What Coach Enrique just said about the opposite winger coming into the middle to create the triangle when the other winger has the ball. Like what Felipe just done, he lost the ball but he done the right movement. Um, I've been working on that myself. I've been lot, watching a lot of futsal trying to improve my movement, you know. Because I'm not naive guys, I know once you move up the divisions, I need to start doing certain little things that you won't get away with in tier 3. Like that, I can't lose the ball there. And uh, that looks bad, but genuinely I didn't mean to do that. Of course I've helped him up. He didn't make a meal of it, so massive respect to number 47. Okay, um, I've got the ball here. Fake back kill there, that's a foul. Come on, thank you referee. But yeah, guys. Little little stuff like that, little little tactics like um, Coach Henrique was just saying. If you want to learn stuff like that, make sure you come to the London Movements training camp. February 12th to February 16th. I'm going to be training with you guys and filming for my YouTube channel with you guys. And a lot of you have been asking, we got away with that. A lot of you have been asking on Instagram, is it boys and girls? Yes, it is boys and girls. It's not just boys, it's not just girls. Good hold up play here from Mikey. That's what we need. We need him to hold it up and beat his man or set it off. Well played, Mikey. That's the outlet we need. Oh, what a save. There's no replay. You guys might need to wheel that up and put that in slow-mo. Great save from their goalie. To be honest, it probably would have been cleared off the line by their player anyways, but amazing save from their goalkeeper. Not a great pass from Felipe, but it's done well to win it back. I've taken the kick in. I played it here to TK. TK hit to Felipe. What's Felipe got? Honestly, guys, like, watching this, I feel so proud, man. Obviously, I own the club, so it's like, of course, I own London Movements FC, and we merged with West London Futsal, which is my childhood team. Somehow, that went a foul. But yeah, watching this makes me feel so proud, man. We're playing against a tier one team in a stadium. Yes, we're losing, but the journey's been incredible, man. The journey's been incredible. One round before the quarterfinal in the National Cup, but can we get to that quarterfinal? This game is far from over. We've seen crazier things happen in sport. TK skips past his man, long shot. Unlucky, very unlucky from TK. After the ball here, little step over. What have I got? Nice pass to Mikey, Mikey back to TK. Someone needs to uh, come around here and show for TK. Well done Phil, but he's lost the ball here. It's been given as a foul, but they've scored. We got away with that to be honest and yeah TK to be honest did deserve that yellow card in all honesty But I would have done the same thing like he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, you know We got away with that good defending very good defending Good press here from Mikey then number four to the ball massive shout out to them number four Adam as well I used to play with him years ago for a team called Genesis who hopefully will be playing against next season in division two tier two Okay, I've got the ball here play it to TK Got under his foot a little bit there. That ball is slippery. No offense to the brand that made that ball, but that ball is slippery. I have to say, but we gotta get used to it because it's the ball that we gotta um, be playing with in these league in these league competitions. As of course we do have the league cup coming as well. In the league we use whatever ball we want to be honest, but in the league cup, sorry, in the league cup, that will be a um, that will be a fixture where we have to use this ball. Well played there from Felipe. Their number ten is a very shifty player. I think Felipe used to play with their number 10 as well. Because I used to play with him and me and Felipe used to play with each other at all the England camps and stuff. So I'm pretty sure Felipe must have played with him as well. So he probably knows little things he does, you know. That's why he didn't beat him there. Nice fake movement from me there. Um, Felipe, uh, we've lost it though. Good save from Ryan. Oh, and the rebound. Ah. Uh, what can you say? See if I'm off here for Billy. This game is not over. Felipe got the ball here, play it to me. What have I got? Standing this guy up. I'm waiting for him to dive in a little bit to be honest, but he's just jockeying me. Fair play to him, he's just jockeying me. Felipe's playing the hit to Billy. The ball there to Dom, I believe that is. Or Mikey, apologies, I can't really see right now. I've got the ball here. Good split ball to Felipe. Oh, what a... Has he saved that? Nah, what a save. How are we meant to win when this guy is in goal making saves like this? Oh, oh, lucky. Save that, man. Save, yeah. Save it. That's the best save on this channel ever. Oh, Don, unlucky. What a save that is! How tapped in the head do you have to be to make a save like that? 
Dead goalkeeper Joe Payne, he plays for England. Honestly, bro. Have a day off, man. Get off the futsal court, bro. It's not everyday trade. Go touch some grass or something, man. You flipping neek, bro. How are you saving that? <laughs> no. <laughs> that shot hit me in my private part. I remember that hurt quite a lot. It's another custom set piece. I've done well there to block it. The pressure from Dom. But yeah, what a save. Guys, honestly, show love where, um, show credit and love where it's due, you know. And that save was unbelievable. So rate it out of 10 in the comments below. Honestly, that's the level we're dealing with, man. That's the level we're dealing with in this match. Well played here from Dom. Oh! Love, Dom. Love it, Dom! Genuinely, I genuinely... Oh, that's a good ball again. We got away with that. I genuinely believe that this scoreline is slightly flattering. I, I genuinely believe that. Don't get me wrong, they've had the better plays. I'm not naive, I'm not delusional, I know that. But if we've taken our chances, this is a much closer game. It's still a close game, we can win this, but good save there from Ryan. But yeah, oh, we've had the chances. We've had the chances, genuinely. That's the difference. In a tier three game, we get these chances. If we don't take them, we get another chance 10 seconds later because realistically, we're probably usually on par or better than the team. Or another reason, the court is so small. It's so end to end. But on a big court like this, it's harder to create chances. Well, it's not harder to create chances, but they come less often. So we have to take them. Billy. Oh, I was just saying about taking chances. What a save. Fantastic ball from Osama. Billy. Oh, bruh. Genuinely, oh, we, oh, man. Hindsight is a, is a, is a crazy thing, because it's, oh, if this happened, if that happened, but like, we need to take these chances, man. But honestly, we're doing well. Very well played there from TK. Good save. We're a different. We're a different team this second half. We are a different team this second half. Honestly, come on, boys. Look, one thing that we've learned from this, all of us, is we are a better team when we press. Look at the difference in the second half to the first half. After the ball here, taking him down the line. Oh no! Come on, man. Ah. Ah. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We're still in this, man. We're creating very good chances. I've done very well there. I've done very well there. Good slide tackle. Another good block from myself. Nice little set piece there. Number 38. Good save from Ryan. Show some love to Ryan in the comments. I'm talking about their goalkeeper, but our goalkeeper is an amazing goalkeeper. One of our best players so far this season, so show, show some love to Ryan in the comments, man. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Nothing's come from that. Ryan's at the ball here. TK here to Osama. Osama back to TK. Billy's done. Good movement, good movement. Billy's got the ball here to TK. To Osama. Jamie, Jamie, come, Jamie, come, 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 come. What, what, please, please. Coach Enrique has asked me to come off there, but I, I've said, please just let me take him on one time. Our confidence is up, and so is mine. Am I going to do what I said? Am I going to take him on? Flip flap, please! Oh, it's a bad shot, though, man. It's a bad shot, and I'll do the substitution now. I did what I said I was going to do. That's crazy. Flip flap, eesh. Oh, he's been sent for a hot dog, but it's a terrible, terrible shot. Ah oh, man, done the first part so well, but the shot was was miles off it, absolutely miles off it. And don't forget, I didn't see that in the top left as well. What Rose Cam on my own video? So you guys see, look, my teammates, my friends, my editors, even they keep me in check, they keep me humble. Rose Cam on my own video, they're violating. Oh bro, but that's a very nice piece of skill from me there, man. I need to do that more often, man. I need to do it more often, but why am I waiting until the final 10 minutes of the game to get my confidence up and take people on? Ah, oh, bro. Ref! Why is it 2v1, bro? No, man. It's a 2v1. That's not great from the referee. I got every single match video on this channel. I make sure to say to you guys, I know refereeing is the hardest job in the world, man. So, like, I don't want to criticize decisions too much but we was on a 2v1 there and we need goals in this game man Felipe good save from their goalkeeper again honestly guys yeah this second half we look like a, I'm so proud of, of myself and the boys this second half and we have learned that we're a much better team from this when we press TK to Billy they've done well to get out there 
But he's got a ball here played down the line to Osama. Good tackle. Dario coming on here for Osama. What has he got? Billy's with the ball here. Played it here to Dario. Good composure. Very nice touch here from TK down the line. Their player's done well to get across and make the tackle get the tackle in. Dario's with the ball here though, he's gonna play it to Billy. Billy with the 50-50, you love to see it. You can always rely on Billy for passion. Yeah, that's what he does. TK hits to Dario, Dario back to TK. Nice little disguise, uh, fate down the line. To Felipe. Felipe to Billy. We look so much better this second half, man. We look so much better. Billy hits to, Dar um, to Felipe, sorry. This is good stuff, man. This is good stuff. TK back to Phil. Felipe to T, back to Phil. No, he's chosen not to play it. T. Oh, we need to take these. We need to take these chances. Dario. Ah. Well played, Bill. You have three minutes to score me a couple goals. On, and then we're going for our keep. Is it now. worth taking that risk a bit too much? No, 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 no. Wait, we're on top now. Hey, what the f***ing call the timeout? Defensively, have no problems. The, the, the two times we got caught out in that half from your, your yellow card and yeah. also Phil's goal is because our triangles wasn't there. But every time we, our triangles were there, just like that play over there, it's, it's on! A much, much needed timeout, but it, it was taken, the timeout was taken by Bolton because of course, each team gets to give um, one timeout request each half. And yeah, this one was requested by Bolton. I think that they've noticed that we are we are a lot better in the second half. They need to change a few things maybe. Great composure there from Dario on the line, man. He's done very well since coming on. But what have we got here? I've got it here. I've lost the ball there. Ball retention's got to be better. They're going to hit us on a counter attack. Number eight. Good block there from Dario. He's done very well since coming on, man. Show some love to Dario in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Then number five's got the ball here. Gone for the little, little, little clip ball, but Billy's done well to intercept it. This is where they're dangerous. They've got the ball here. Play it out wide. Then number 21 standing up, Billy. Billy looking right into his eyes. Good tackle from Billy. Then number 47 is at the ball here. Then number eight. Guys, you know what's crazy? Yo, let me wait for this attack to finish. Good press from Billy. I've got a chance to say it now. Next season, every game could be like this. Oh my gosh. Hey, right, their goalkeeper, Joe, yeah, it's mad to say, but I think the best passer of the ball on their team is their goalkeeper. That is mental. That is crazy. Number three is at the ball here. Cuts inside. Recycles it to the number 10. That's a very good split ball. This is what they're good at. This is what they're good at. They're amazing in possession of the ball. Little thing. I remember saying to Dario, I'm on Dario's left. I'm saying, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. Because he weren't, he weren't going to shoot that guy. And Dario's just thinking, I know, like, just shut up and let me defend. <laughs> and he's done very well at defending there. Good scoop, scoop ball there from Tarek to Michael. Good hold up play from Michael. What have I got? I've gone for a little cheeky meg. Nothing's come of it though. We will get the kick in. Percentages. TK. Oh, we need a goal, man. He's just dragged that wide. He's just dragged that wide. Good header there from Dario. They're gonna, they're gonna um, get control of the game again. Well trapped there from Dario in their number three. Good no look ball there from their number ten. But a bit of a baggy pass there at the back post. After the ball here. Good pass there from me to Michael. Well played, Michael. What have we got? Tarek, 2v1, play, play it to him. Why is he not passing to him? Tarek. But we still got the attack here. Oh, I've licked it off the post. I thought that Tarek could have played that to Michael there. I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments, guys. I might be wrong. Their number two's done very well to get past Tarek there, so it's not easy to get past him. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well done, referee. Felipe with the ball here. To Dario. It's not a bad ball, but. Dom's behind them, their, their back man. We need him in front there. We need that outlet, man. So, honestly, we've missed Kyle quite a lot this game. I, I, I just got to say it. We, we have. We need that outlet ball. Dom and Michael are amazing at it, but that is Kyle's game. Hey, we have nothing to lose, all right? Mm. Okay? We have to get this right. So, TK here, Billy, Felipe, Sama, Jamie. Okay, Jamie, you have to do a shift running. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay, now, if we start conceding goals, it's fine. Okay, it doesn't matter the scoreline. All that matters is that you give everything on that 
Cool. Start with you in goal, yeah, okay? And then when we get a kick in over there, that's when we put Jamie on, yeah? My priority running off or in goal? Depends. It depends how where the ball I is, where stuff. Yeah. yeah, you have to read it, okay? This is the very first time ever, I think, that we have played fly keeper for any new viewers, fans, audience that don't know what fly keeper is. It's essentially when you bring the goalkeeper out as an extra outfield player. And obviously you're gonna give it to a player who like plays outfield because they're better outfield more time than a goalkeeper would be. But it's crazy, you're gonna see, you're gonna see like it's mad. Like it's another reason why I love futsal and I just believe that it's so like, it's such a cool tactic. That was nice passing there until that from Osama. They're gonna hit us on a counter attack here. Oh, we got away with that. We have got away with that. Tara's on the ball here. We need something soon, man. We need something soon. We're still in this game, don't get it twisted. But we need something very soon. Referee's pulled him down. He hasn't given it. He's pulled him down and chopped him with his leg. Oh, come on. Ryan, Ryan. Referee just dragged him down, bro. As you can see, the bench weren't happy the same way I'm not happy, man. Like, in a game where you need you need stuff to go your way, man. And that we, we can't concede another goal like that, guys. This is, this is going to be a difficult task now, man. There should, it shouldn't be a goal and this is so difficult when other stuff are against you, you know? But it is what it is. We're playing flight keeping out. As you can see, I've got the goalkeeper top on. Technically, I'm in goal, which is mad. And I'm sprinting off here. So every time we lose the ball, of course, we want to get our actual goalkeeper back in. I've come back on here because they um, there was a faulty kicking from them. I think the ball was moving on the line. The ball's not allowed to be moving. It has to be still. Anyways, come on, boys. We need a goal ASAP. We need a goal very soon, man. This is, this is a tough ask, guys. I'll be honest. Three minutes, five goals. It's a very tough ask, but... I've seen what I've seen crazier stuff. I've seen crazier stuff. I've gone for a split ball there, back post. We've got to try and create something. That's gone over. That's gone over, and we're gonna go again. We're gonna go again. All right, TK got the ball here. Have you guys enjoyed this match video so far, though? Have you enjoyed the difference in quality? Like honestly, guys, this is what I want. I want to play teams like this every single week. Of course, we're making our way up the league, but it's good. What a ball from Ifili. Oh, we needed that. We needed that. Hi! Hey, full press! Full press, let's go! Full press from Coach Henrique. We have to just go for it. We have to just go for it now. Oh, is this our last two minutes in the National Cup, guys? Unless we can do something here. Oh, we need stuff like that to the right, man. We can't be missing passes like that. No! He's ran into him, bro. He's ran into him. Bro, you tripped over the ball, bro. To be fair, he did trip over the ball on his, on his first or second touch there, I've got to say. We've got away with that. We've got away with that. I'm coming back on here for Ryan doing my fly keeper role. Two minutes left. Come on. I feel like if we don't get something on this attack, guys, then this is over. It's, it's over, in all honesty. Like, Felipe to TK. We need something. Come on, boys. TK to Billy. Billy to me. Felipe's there in the middle, yeah, I see it on the day as well. Oh, I had to go for it, we need something, man. We need something. If that went through, it would have been nice. One minute 30, ah, uh, you know what, guys? Ah, uh, uh, I have to be honest, guys. One minute 30, we're not gonna score six goals. But it gives me a chance to chat to you guys, because honestly, we have no right to be at this level of the National Cup. It's insane. The, that's a nice little nutmeg pass. I don't think I didn't see that, Billy. But yeah, honestly, guys, we got to the round before the National Cup quarter final, which is insane. You guys saw where we started from on the outdoor court. A lot of people just deem us as a YouTube team. We beat a tier one team in the last round. We've done very well. We've got to deep it, guys. In this second half, the score right now is 2 1. I don't want to be that guy like, oh, 2 1. No, we lost. Like, it's, it's 6 1 right now. But the score in the second half is 2 1 when we started pressing them. So. We've learned a lot this game, guys. We have learned a lot. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed the journey of the National Cup. We are, of course, still trying to win the league unbeaten. We are back next week playing against second place in our league. And they, their team's improved a lot, so that'll be a big game. But yeah, guys, this game is what weren't meant to be, man. But I'm super proud of myself and super proud of the boys, man. We were actually, I'm going to say the word, we were scared in the first half. We were scared. As Coach Enrique just said, we was a bit timid and a bit scared in the first half. We was, man. It was a big event. A lot of fans came out to watch us. Nice face shot from me there. Left foot, good save from the keeper. But yeah, by the way, speaking of fans watching us, very soon fans can come to our matches. Keep an eye out for that. But yeah, guys, 
A step too far, but I'm super proud, man. Why is he going to do that for us? There's eight seconds on the clock, bruv. Yeah, not great sportsmanship there, but massive thank you to Cookie for sorting this out. We really appreciate it, mate. Oh, just save. Massive shout out to Bolton as well. Good luck in the next round. I had to do that. I'm going to get a yellow card for it as well. But the game's over. I'll take my 12 pound 55. And I'll see you guys next week. Cheers for the event. It was really class. You should have pressed us from the start. Huh? Should have we don't have players to press, bro. We have, eight, we have four subs. I know, man. That game would have been way closer if you did what you did in the second half. If we went something might be more out. Yeah. I do want to say a massive thank you to Bolton Futsal Club for hosting us and to all the fans that travelled to Manchester to watch. It was amazing to meet you guys and I'll see you at one of our home games in London very soon. And of course there is no change to our top scorer and top assist leaderboard after today's match. That is so sad.